Welcome back everyone to Loving Living Local. Kenny Mack here. Now, putting a newborn baby into NICU hospitalization is heartbreaking and it can take any toll on any family that has to do that. But thankfully, there are people and organizations out there that are dedicated to helping ease that transition from the NICU back home and making a smoother ride for everyone involved. So that's why we are excited here to introduce, we have Allison and Warren as part of our three degree guarantee. And they are, uh, Allison, the recipient of the month, for Newborn Hope. Congratulations. Thank we really, you so much. Yes, of course. I mean, this is so incredible, really. I love that you do this. You know, Warren Wirenut, they feature charities every single month and, you know, really bring awareness to the great things that they are doing in our community. So we appreciate you taking the time to come to the studio and chat with us. So how is a Newborn Hope how is it best meeting the community's needs and support of the families as they do make that transition? Sure, first of all, thank you so much for the contribution and for allowing us to be part of the, the promotion in June. Um, Newborn Hope provides um, resources for families impacted by prematurity and one of those is families that are transitioning home from the NICU. Right. We provide the Premie Family Assistance Fund, um, which provides um, the needed resources for families as they transition home. Um, oftentimes it's emergency living expenses, right. um, therapies needed, medications. Um, we help support through um, lease and utility um, support, things like that. Um, it's available to families in Colorado um, who are in the, cur currently in the NICU and then up to age three of their oh, wow. preemie. So we can continue to support that family through their journey. And, and you know, just on a, a more you know, personal level, how has it changed your life just to be a part of this and to you know, experience this and be dedicated to it every No, day? it's incredible. Our NICU staff, um, staffs and medical professionals you know, statewide are incredible. Um, they save lives um, you know, very early on. Um, we see babies uh, really transition home safely, mm -hmm. um, born as early as you know, 22, 23 weeks um, these days. Um, oftentimes those babies do have a journey ahead, um, and so Newborn Hope is just so honored to be a part of that and, as, and come alongside a family in that journey and really support them through that. Um, for me, it's been life-changing on a number of levels. One, just seeing the medical expertise, the science, um, the support from our NICUs and hospitals, right. um, but then also just to come alongside a family and be able to support them. Each journey is completely unique and different. Um, so not only from an organization being able to support them, but connect them with other families and people right. who've gone through similar experiences. That's really an important part that for is those families. That is very vital, really, in any situation to feel like you can relate to someone or that you can have some guidance from someone who knows. But you do so much for you know families in our community constantly, but what can the community do to help you guys out and support you? Sure, we have two, um, we're very excited, in-person fundraisers coming up. Um, one is our long standing, it's been running 49 years um, consecutively. It's been at the Broadmoor Hotel um, all 49 years. It's November 13th, okay. it's called our November Noel Gala. Oh. Um, they can certainly support um, that event by attending or we have a, a large online auction that is open to the entire community. Um, anyone can go to our website, uh, www.newbornhope.org. Right. Um, we'll have more information coming as the event progresses. And then we also have another fundraising event in Pueblo called Sips at Sunset, and that's September 30th at the Pueblo Convention Center. Um, all information is coming online uh, on our website. Perfect, and a lot of opportunities for everyone to help out in any way. We're gonna chat with you in a second, Warren, but I do wanna to ask about the uh, handmade hearts mm. that are, are going around. Can you talk about that a little sure. bit? Sure, so this is one of the little touchy-feely things that um, Newborn Hope is able to provide families in the NICU, um, as the sense of smell is the first to develop mm. in a newborn. Um, uh, in a baby. This is a small handmade heart um, by local community volunteers um, who do an, uh, just an amazing job. And it can be put um, with mom, um, either, you know, kind of on her skin or any caretaker. Right. And then it's put inside in the, um, in with baby. And so that kind of helps to connect mom and baby through that sense of smell. That's amazing. Um, so that's just a little something that we have in NICUs um, statewide and are able to provide to all the families. So make sure you go to newborn bornhope.org uh, to learn about how you can do all of this, you know, help out in your way. But okay, so Warren, uh, charities every single month that, that you choose from, but what made Newborn Hope stand out to you and really make that choice? Well, I think um, when you look at 158 preemies born um, every week in Colorado. It's crazy. Um, 
our, our team was hit by it. So mm -hmm. we had a few uh, team members that had premature babies and mm -hmm. we know that it causes uh, you know, struggles for you know the near term and sometimes for the long term. So we just felt like it's something we could get behind and really just we, we see that day to day with you know they get s babies get sicker easier mm -hmm. they get fevers. I mean I we have a team member who just had a child that was constantly struggling after being born premature. Right. Um, I personally was a preemie, so oh, um, wow. I was a triplet born here in Colorado Springs, and my brother Darren only lived a day because he was born premature and has some issues with that. So I think as a, uh, as a family, as a wiring up family, we just want to help support that. And we know it impacts a lot of different people and it doesn't have a lot of awareness. So we're just hoping to bring some more awareness to it and help those uh, that need it. Uh, in a personal connection that you have with yeah. that. Well, it is time to, you know, deliver the goods over <laughs> here. This is awesome. And you know, what I love about you oh. guys, uh, WireNet, is um, how the organization chooses really interesting, um, kind of just diverse. There's a huge variety of, of charities out there that do amazing things that we wouldn't even think of on a day-to-day -day basis. And so, yeah, I love what you guys do, and I love what you guys do as well. Thank you so, so much. Thank, thank you, you. We are so appreciative. Thank appreciative you. of this. So of course. Thank you very much. So if your family is struggling with the transition from the NICU to home, you can actually go to the website that Allison mentioned, newbornhope.org, to apply for their grants and, and learn more about the services that they do offer. Now, with that being said, from all of us here at Loving Living Local and Fox 21, congratulations thank to you, you guys. And, uh, and Wirenut, again, thank you for being here for our three degree guarantee check recipient. Go ahead and take a look at that big check. Love it. <laughs> congratulations, guys. Thanks. For more information on our three degree guarantee and this month's charity recipient newborn hope is the go-to to learn all about that and this segment has been sponsored by wirenut home services